Okay, time to study for the exam. Uh, the big question is how to study, obviously, in college for a test. And maybe you need the Bible, I don't know. But in any event, we're going to study for a JavaScript exam today. The first thing we're going to look at is a typical exam question. In this case here, I've got on lines 9, 10, and 11, I have three lines I've written in JavaScript. They're in the body, but I have nothing in the head area. That's one of the ways the exam question may be. Now, what do you know from these three? You can look at it. You know the function names. You know what parameters they need. And you ought to know which ones are going to return something. Okay, lines 9 and 10, variable h equals get the hour. Function names get the hour, no parameters. And it's going to return something because it's got a variable assigned to that function. Same thing with m, the next variable. And winner, m comma h, there's nothing to return there. So that's a function that's going to perform an action. And when we see that, what that means is the variable h is going to return some sort of an answer at the end of that function, just like the variable m is going to do the same thing. And when we see winner with nothing in front of it, we know that somewhere along the way it's going to perform an action, and more than likely that's going to mean a document.write to print out the results of that action. Now, we also know, because we had m comma h in the winner, we know that the function winner must have two parameters. They don't have to have the same name, m and h, because you're going to use them locally. So we don't know what we're going to calculate. We don't know what we're going to write, but we do know there are going to be two parameters, and we can name them we want locally. Now, sometimes the exams are going to be this way, where you see the functions already written, but you have nothing in the body. So you've got to execute that script. Now, I didn't really explain what this particular program is going to do, but let's take a look at it here. We have a function get the hour that just returns the hour of the day. We've seen something like that probably in class. We have get the minute function that returns uh, the minute of the day. And then we have a function called winner. And it takes two numbers. In this case, locally, we're calling it x and y. It begins with a response called try again later. But then it does a test, a little if statement. If x comparison equals to y, x double equals y then it's going to change the response to winner, winner. But either way, once it's done with that, it's going to document.write the response, in which case it's going to either say try again later or winner, winner. So we have to figure out what do we need in the body based on these functions. Well, get the hour tells us the function name. The parentheses tells us which parameters. And if it has a return, we know it's returning a result. Otherwise, we can recognize it's performing an action. So we may not know the variable that you're going to use. I have a question mark there for get the hour. But it's going to be some variable there. And we have a variable, another question mark, get the hour. I'm not sure what. I have to put an A, B, X, Y, Z. It doesn't matter what, but I have to put something there. And then we have the function winner, where we call those two functions. I'm sorry, call the And then we have the function winner, where we send those two particular variables as parameters. So the h gets moved into the uh, first variable, the m is the second variable, and, and whatever we had for x and y, that's what we're sending to uh, from winner. Now let's take a look at that function winner. We decided it was going to uh, perform an action. That is to say, it's going to figure out the response, and then it's going to print the response. That's what we decided it was going to do. We could actually change that. Instead of printing the response, we could just have it return the response, in which case then we would have to say variable with some variable, whatever we call it. I have a double question mark there, but that's going to be equal to the winner. And then, if I've done that, I still have to document out write that particular variable. So. The completed assignment in this particular exam question, I gave it years ago, I no longer give it, was just to get the hour and get the minute. And if the hour and the minute happen to be equal, it would say winner, winner. Otherwise, it would say try again later. And it printed out the current hour of H and the current minute of M 
on one line, and then it centered, I don't know why I asked him to do that, but it centered the answer, which was either try again later or winner, winner. And it was a very simple page. All it said was current hour 14, current minute 47, and try again later. That's, of course, if I was doing it at 2.47 in the afternoon. Thank <laughs> you.